well, let's talk about being rational, right? If yeah. you were rational and and you're a sociopath, you still don't need to feel good about developing trust with other people. You can just feel good about the fact that people don't hate you. Hmm. And if you make them hate you, you you will suffer as well. Yeah. So my just going back, my my worry, it's and it's a worry, it's it's not. I, I, I wouldn't I couldn't make a definitive statement but my concern when someone is using a story or using a um, a made-up description of of the world is that it, it almost by definition is going to have something about it that's not strictly true yeah or that's not that doesn't really represent the, it, it might be kind of quote unquote real but not really real as yeah, I say yeah. and that someone will be attached to that that worldview or that system or that narrative and that inevitably something in the world will bump up against that. Yeah, and There'll that happens. Tension there. I mean, that right. happens all the time. So if yeah. you pick any one thing, um, you're picking something that is made up and you, it doesn't give you the option of seeing it like a story. Yeah. And you could yeah, say, yeah. I really like this story. So if Peterson is talking about Christianity being literally true, that that's strange to me. That um, I, I would just I would just question his commitment to that. Yeah. But uh, but if someone says this is a tool to get you from point A to point B, and you want to be at point B, and you yeah. convince me again, you're being reasonable. You're giving me reasons, and I can sign on to that. Yeah. Um, but I also don't like the idea of treating people like childishly. I should say we're all children. You know, we're all like just big kids who grow up and we we are not great at thinking and we're bad reasoners and we're mistaken most of the time about most things. Yeah. Um so in that way we're 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 like children but I I don't like you know talking down to people and saying, "Oh, you need this this story works for you." Like what well, it works to get you somewhere, but um I'm I'm thinking of the person you were just describing that maybe is just has all the cards stacked against them. Yeah. Um something like a Vipassana meditation, the goal is not to get you away from all those stressful experiences like a vacation. It, it would be to help you tune in better and yeah. to see to see whatever's going on. Just yeah. you know, to observe how, how, what is it like for me when I go to work every day? Is it because of my boss or my coworker or the customers? Is it because I hate what I'm actually doing or do I not really hate it that much? And, and uh, so insofar as you can see the world clearly, you can do something with that, but you can't do anything with it if you're um, if there's anything underneath that. Like if if your whole world is propped up by something that is made up, um, you, you don't have a lot of power there. You don't have any control because because you you always have to fall back on that story. So reality is going to surface, or or the the rest of reality is going to surface, mm, and yeah. and then what?